A swirling cloud of little yellow butterflies decorates the shade of this beautiful lamp. Until recently, experts believed that the concept for this lamp originated in the mind of Louis C. Tiffany. Martin Eidelberg. I think the general tendency was that Tiffany himself designed everything, or at least gave the initial impetus for the designs and then left it to his assistants to work out the details. Then, in late 2005, two Tiffany scholars, Martin Eidelberg and Nina Gray, learned of the existence of Clara Driscoll's letters. They found a trove of them in the Kent State University Library and at the Queen's Historical Society. The letters told us how Tiffany Studios worked. We have basically a week-by-week -week account written from the inside of how the designs were prepared, who the people in control were, what the ethics and aesthetics of the business were. The butterfly lamp, he learned, was not thought up by Tiffany, but by Clara Driscoll. In a letter, she describes designing the lamp, which was inspired by memories of yellow butterflies and primroses on an Ohio farm. Like that field of them on Mr. Root's land. This in mosaic will be the lamp and a cloud of little yellow butterflies, which you know look exactly like the primrose blossom, in a network of gold wire, made in beautiful lines like lines of smoke, is to be the shade. When Clara described her idea to Tiffany, he was immediately enthusiastic. Tiffany himself had made a very large window with butterflies for his own home. And, of course, the butterfly had become very important in the 1880s and 90s, partly because it appeared in Japanese art. So we can see that Tiffany would have very much recognized a certain aspect of his own art in this lamp.